वेलकम टू ऑल आय एम असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर कुटे अक्षदा फ्रॉम एस एन डी इंजिनिअरिंग अँड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला टुडेज टॉपिक इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्राफाईन ग्राफाईन इज अन ॲटोमिक स्केल हनिकोम लॅटाईज मेड अप ऑफ कार्बन ॲटम्स ग्राफाईन इज द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चरल इलेमेंट ऑफ ग्रॅफाईट कार्बन नॅनोट्यूब्स अँड फिलरन्स इन शॉर्ट ग्राफाईन इज द सुपर थीन सुपर स्ट्रॉंग ट्रान्सपरंट कंडक्टिव्ह अँड सेल्फ प्रिपेअरिंग मटेरियल इज पॉईज टू रिव्होल्युशनाईज द फ्युचर बाय नॉट ओनली बाय सुपर चार्जिंग बॅटरीज बट अल्सो बाय गिव्हिंग फ्लेक्झिबल सेमी कंडक्टर्स अँड मच मोर दिस आर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्रॅफाईन ग्रॅफाईन टू डायमेन्शनल ग्रॅफाईन मॉलिक्युल्स एस पी टू हाय कार्बन हॅज अ थ्री हायब्रिड ऑर्बिटल्स ॲट वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री अँगल इन वन प्लेन Sigma bonds with three such carbons and some unhybridized orbital having one electron at right angle to the plane. Hexagonal arranged network sheet of carbon atoms is formed by joining of each sp2 carbon to three other sp2 carbons by sigma bonds. This way of joining the carbons results in forming huge and flat molecules with millions of carbon atoms in the plane. There is an unhybridized orbital on each carbon parallel with such orbital on the neighboring carbons due to some resonance phenomena the angular rings of the delocalized or mobile electrons are formed all the annular rings are joined to form region of electrons of all the carbons in the flat molecule above and below the plane of carbons these regions contain the freely mobile or resonating electrons and hence graphene is good conductor of electricity the carbon carbon bond length is 1.42 angstrom the valence and conduction band are overlap and there is a no energy gap hence graphite is good conductor of electricity the two sheet like graphene molecules are at the distance of 3.4 angstrom in graphite and there is a weak van der waals force of attraction between then graphene fullerens carbon nanotubes and graphite structures in this in this diagram graphene fullerens and carbon nanotubes and graphite structures are seen graphene this is a structure distinctive properties of graphene and possible application fields occurrence and production the following processes are adopted to produce graphene exfoliated graphene epitaxial growth on silicon carbide epitaxial growth on metal substrate graphite oxide reduction pyrolysis of sodium ethoxide from nanotubes from graphite by sonication carbon dioxide reduction method potential application of graphene graphene transistors due to its high electronic quality graphene has also attracted the interest of technologists who see it is a way of cons- constructing ballistic transistor their device show changes to percent of cryogenic temperatures facing the fact that current graphene transistors show a very poor on off ratio researchers are trying to find ways for improvement therefore the graphite molecules can slide past over each other on application of force and graphite is smooth material the graphene molecules at high temperature can get folded to form carbon nanotubes or decompose to from carbon cluster molecules of fullerens formation of a graphene transistors first ion deposition and patterning second graphene synthesis by cvd third source drain electrode deposition ion ethylene insulator deposition of ald top gate electrode decomposition optical microscope images and optical microscope images integrated circuits graphene has the idea properties can be excellent component of integrated circuits 
Graphene has a high carrier mobility as well as low noise, allowing it to be used the channel in a field effect transistors. The issue is that single sheet of graphene are hard to produce and even harder to make on top of an appropriate substrate. Announced in the fabricated and characterized graphene transistors operating at frequencies in May 2009 and an N-type transistor was announced meaning that both N and P-type transistors have now been created with graphene functional graphene integrated circuit was also demonstrated. A complementary inverter consisting of one P-type and one N-type graphene transistors. However, this inverter also suffered from a very low voltage gain. The Intel uses graphene technology. Solar cells. The most unique aspects of OPV cell devices is the transparent conductive electrode. This allows the light to react with the active materials inside and create the electricity. Now graphene polymer sheet are used to create thick arrays of flexible OPV cells and they are used to convert solar radiation into electricity. Probably chip power a research team under the guidance of professor of electrical engineering has put forward the theory that the graphene in its forms as an atom thick carbon atom sheets and the attach to very flexible polymer sheets with thermoplastic layer of protection. The flexibility of OPVs gives these cells additional advantages by being operational after repeated bending. bending. Unlike the indium, tin oxide cells, low cost, productive, conductivity, stability, electrode, organic film, compatibility and easy availability along with flexible gives graphene. OPV cell uh, decidedly added advantages over other solar cells. A graphene solar cell, its structure and a graphene organic LED. These are the images of graphene OLED. Uh, in uh, first layer, cathode is used. In uh, second and third, organic light emitted layer. And third layer is graphene. And last is substrate. And light is emitted. Antibacterial paper made from graphene. Scientist at Institute of Applied Physics have shown that graphene, a material which is a sheet of carbon, exactly one atom thick, does not allow the growth of bacteria on its surface. This means graphene could be useful in applications such as hygiene products or packaging that will help keep food fresh for longer period of time. We find that graphene derivatives, graphene oxides, graphene oxides and reduced graphene oxide can effectively inhibit bacterial growth. This is a significant finding as the both previous and our, our studies have proven that graphene, particularly graphene oxide is biocompatible and cell can grow well on graphene substrates and the other nanomaterial are often cytotoxic. A sheet of graphene paper and sketchmatic illustration of E. coli exposed to graphene nanosheets. This is structure of E. coli nanosheets. Graphene as an anti corrosive coating. New research has established the miracle material called graphene as the world's thinnest known coating for protecting metals against corrosion. Corrosion results from contact of metals' surface with air, water, or other substances. One major approach involves coating metals with materials that shield the metal surface but currently use materials have limitations. Researchers found that graphene whether made directly on copper or nickel or transfer into another metal provide protection against corrosion. Copper coated by grooving a single layer of graphene through chemical vapor deposition corroded seven times slower than bare copper and nickel coated by grooving multiple layers of graphene corroded 20 times slower than bare nickel. Thank you.